Hawaii is a tropical paradise, but native plant communities here are in big trouble, and protecting them calls for drastic and creative measures. But can a 1,300-foot megafence be the answer? We'll find out on Plants Are Cool Too. Animals are cuddly, animals are cute. You could put a kitten in a three-piece suit. But could an animal make its own food? Could an animal feed the whole world? Could an animal help you get a girl? Plants are cool too. Plants are cool too. Plants are cool too. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Chris Martin. Welcome to a special edition of Plants Are Cool 2. We're in Hawaii on the island of Oahu where I just spent a great day with Dr. Marion Chow, who's a botanist at the Lion Arboretum through the University of Hawaii. Recently got her PhD in the University of Hawaii at Manoa, which is also where Kim Shea is currently enrolled as a master's student. We're having some really delicious Hawaiian coffee after a wonderful day on Kaiana Point. Halfway across the Pacific, on our way to Australia, my family and I took a long layover on Oahu. My wife Rachel and I, with our kids Izzy and Jackson, had only about 36 hours to work with. So we made for the North Shore with Marion and Kim and started on the three mile hike that would lead us to one of the most impressive conservation projects on Earth. Kaena Point is home to perhaps the most diverse native plant community in a coastal strand ecosystem on the island of Oahu. Kaena Point is an important coastal habitat which, despite threats from invasive species, still supports a pretty strong community of native plants and animals. My name is Marianne Chow. I've been a botanist in Hawaii for nine years and I've done a little field work out there and visited many other times as well. Even though we saw a lot of plants on our approach, I was struck by how many of them were exotic species. In fact, only a handful of the things we encountered were native to Hawaii. Native species decline here has been linked to a number of causes, but one of the most notable is the prevalence of exotic mammals, from feral cats, goats, and mongoose, to rodents like rats and seed-hungry mice. No U.S. state has more threatened, endangered, or extinct species as Hawaii. And many of these species occur nowhere else in the world but here. The coastal plant life in Kaena Point is considered to be one of Hawaii's most pristine examples of native coastal vegetation. Aloha! My name is Kimberly Shea. I'm a master's student in the botany department of the University of Hawaii at Manoa. The mission of Kaena Point Ecosystem Restoration Project was to construct a predator-proof fence to remove and prevent feral predators from entering into the coastal habitat within Kaena Point. These predators kill seabird chicks and threaten endangered and native plant reproduction due to seed predation. This project also prevents vehicular traffic and development from harming native plants and animals. Construction and installation of the fence began in November 2010 and finished in March 2011. Due to the fence's design, which includes a rolled hood, wire mesh, and a mesh skirt and cement base into the ground, it prevents predators from climbing over, moving through, or burrowing under the fence. There is ongoing monitoring of the park to ensure any predators that do enter are removed quickly by traps and other means of removal. 
Rodent traps along both sides of the fence add an extra layer of protection. There are three gates for people to access into Kaena Point. Each gate has boot brushes to remove seeds of non-native plant species from entering into the reserve, and double doors to ensure the exclosure of predators. This project is important for many reasons. This is the first case of a predator-proof fence as a management tool for restoration in the United States. The Kaena Point Restoration Project helps to preserve and restore an ecosystem that is home to not only this diverse plant community, but also some of our native seabird species, like Laysan albatross and wedge-tailed shearwaters, along with our endangered Hawaiian monk seal. All of these native species are vulnerable to the predators that the fence now excludes. The whole project was very carefully designed using scientific experimental methods with long-term monitoring included in the plans. They have seen some positive and very encouraging results so far, but we can also learn a lot from collecting and analyzing data after the fence was installed. A well-designed restoration experiment can be so valuable for informing future projects to conserve other important habitats or ecosystems in Hawaii or even elsewhere in the world. We've demonstrated the great potential here at Kaena Point for education and research, which interests Hawaii and attracts a worldwide audience. For all these reasons, this project and Kaena Point inspires people and can be used as a model for other places in the world restoring the native ecosystem. Mahalo!